Hey everybody, we're back. Here with the talk show with DJ Gatsby and Kitty Jones. I love the way that sounds. That sounds great. That's a ring yeah. to it. Sure. Absolutely. We've waited so long to do our first show. 2013 is here. We're on the map. The show is live. You know, we, we got my man Rob here. We got Shay here. You know, it, and it, it's really, really off the, off the hook. Now, everybody knows me. If you don't know me, my name is DJ Gatsby. Host of the talk show with DJ Gatsby, which is now the talk show with DJ Gatsby and Kitty Jones. Founder of DJ Gatsby's book club. And we'll talk more about me later. Um, again, welcome my co-host, Kitty Jones. Well, I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. I'm honored. Yeah. All it, it, this, stuff. this is the part of the show when I want to get the viewers to really know who you are. You, you got a lot of people out there who know who you are. But a lot of people don't know who Kitty Jones is. You, you, you talked about um, how you got the name Kitty Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about your passion uh, um, for television and, 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 you know, and entertainment. How did you get started in television entertainment? Well, this is something I've always wanted to do. I mean, I love, I've always liked to entertain people. Um, you know, give me a, give me a forum to, to talk to people, um, entertain them, encourage them, inspire them. That's what I will do. I've always, always been that type of person. So I knew that television would be a good way to reach a lot of people. So mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do that. I love talking on the mic. I love the mic. Um, okay. Give me a mic. And I've, I've seen your mic. I, well, I'm going to tell you, you could have been in 5,000 other places, but you're here with me, and I thank you for that. I appreciate oh, yeah. it. I mean, that's just the way I am. I just like to make people happy. I like to make people feel good. And um, so, and that's why here we are with Kitty Jones. And most people that are around me can feel that energy. Uh, I like to be able to help people. I would like to help the masses. I think this is a good way to do it, sure. you know. Um, I live my life, I, leave, I live as an example um, sure. all the time. So whatever I tell people, I'm living that. That's the way it is. Okay. So that's me. That's you. The other thing, um, you have uh, something that I've heard you say in a lot of your shows about, you know, living life to the fullest. and My mantra. And living like this, your mantra. Share that with us. My please. mantra and, and the way I live every day is to love like you've never loved before. Okay. You should live like there is no tomorrow and inspire others to be the best that they can be. That is my mantra. I live that way, and I, I tell that to everybody else. That's what you should do. You figure if you're living like that, if, you're, if you wake up in the morning and you're loving like you've never loved before. I mean, mm. we've all thought we've been in love, but have we really? I mean, you know when you found that person, mm. and yeah. you're living like there's no tomorrow because we know that life is very, very short. And uh, we should we should live just like this is our last moment, and inspiring people, which is a big deal to inspire people. And um, I think by doing that is by encouraging people, you know, okay. and, and things that they tr they're trying to do. Uh, don't be a naysayer, you know. Mm -hmm. Just that's that's inspiring. And it's big, and it's something to work towards all all the time. So. Sure. Very, very uh, yeah. profound mm -hmm. statement. Most definitely. Live, love. I mean. Yeah. It's big, right? I don't, you know, I don't really have, you know, sayings like that. I'll, I'll yeah. say, you know, like, get in where you fit in. <laughs> that's good, too. Or, you know. That's good, too. Act like you know. Yeah, act like you know. That's good. It's kind of really old. A, that's like old school. But act like you know. It's going to work for somebody, probably. You're saying I'm old school. Though. Well, uh, it's a tab. I want to be careful with those. But, no, mm. but, you know, whatever works for you. I mean, we don't, you know. We don't well, you know, I'm, I don't really, um, I don't really give a lot of advice. I don't really inspire a lot of people. Oh, you don't know that. But, but what I do is inform a lot of people and like to let people know about uh, a lot of events and, and things that go on around that affects their lives. There you go. So, um, and, and, and in doing so, mm -hmm. you're able to inspire people without even knowing it. Because wow. a lot of times you're inspiring people and you don't even know don't it. Even know it. I think just by living your life, mm -hmm. you know, um, in, in a certain way, you are inspiring people and don't know it. And I think that's what we all should do. Just think about how better the world would be if we all did that. Okay, that sounds yeah. great. Listen, um, I haven't seen you mm -hmm. since the launch party in D.C. Yeah. I'm still recovering from no, that. No, I think 
you saw me after that. We, we kind of oh. got together during the oh, holidays. Oh, that's right. We did say we watched We, no, watched we had good games. times, yeah. yeah. That's why we yeah, watched we the game. That, yeah. We did a few things. You know, the, but you know that the launch party is just oh, is so it's remarkable. You, if you haven't seen the pictures from that launch party, uh, go to DJ Gatsby. Mm -hmm. um, uh, go to the talk show with yes. DJ Gatsby mm -hmm. and Kitty Jones. You'll mm -hmm. see those pictures. Right. By the way, how was Mark as that photographer? How is he? Was he wonderful. is phenomenal. Um, you know, he, he, he tells the story, which photojournalism at yeah. his entire best, Marcus Bennett. I mean, yeah. uh, he really did it. Every time I go back and look at those pictures, mm. I, I smile, can't help but the smile. He captured that entire evening. Everybody yeah. felt special. Yeah. You know, uh, we were able to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one sure. time with people, which is mm. what people want, what I found that people, that's why they love one-on-one -on -one with Kitty. Yeah. Because they get, they know that if I do something, they're going to get that one-on-one -on -one time yeah. with Kitty. That's I'm right. going to give them that moment. Speaking of one-on-one -on -one with Kitty, you had a segment uh, called Ask Kitty. Yes. And I know we don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, because we've got to do some more That's things right. tonight. But I want to ask you a few questions uh, to sure. kind of let people know that how that one-on-one -on -one with Kitty goes. My pleasure. All right. Now, the first question I had for you, uh, and this is from one of my friends. Um, you've been dating a girl for a little while. Mm -hmm. Things are not working out. She's really into you. You're not really into her. How do you break up with that girl? Well, that is very, very easy. Okay? Really? Yes, because in everything in life, you are to be honest. And being honest, nobody said being honest was going to be easy. Okay. However, you owe it to the other person. Because who wants to go out here hurting people? Who wants That's to do right. that? So you owe it to them to look at them and say, hey, it is not going to be easy now. You're going to have to toughen up and man up with this. Be honest. Mm -hmm. If eventually, uh, just be honest before you go out and lie and cheat and all that other so, stuff so that they like to do. And then you know what? In the end, you might be able to salvage that relationship in some way. Maybe you'll be able to be in the same room together without just like you mean remain friends. Well, of course, of course. So, so always be honest. So be honest and just, and just always. And, and that can go for guys or girls. If you're in a relationship that's Most not really working definitely. out, you, you've had some good the, times. You want to remain honest. friends after so just Everyone, honest. I want you to learn how to just be honest. I mean, people will appreciate it in the end. It's just common decency. Be honest. Okay. All right. Uh, another question. Mm -hmm. uh, these questions came um, online. Yes. From um, and thank our you guys Facebook for that. Page, I really appreciate uh, DJ it. DJ yep, Gatsby and Kitty Jones show. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook. The other question was, um, why when do you go out to parties and, and clubs and restaurants? There's always so many women. And very few men. Yes, we wonder that all the time. Uh, first of all, I don't know. I, I don't know where the men are, but the ones that are there are standing around, not asking anybody to dance, and just looking and got one drink that has all ice and one straw. Wait a minute. Hold I mean, on I'm, a just, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just saying. I mean, and so they're not approaching the women for whatever reason. On the flip side, women are wondering why aren't they approaching us? I mean, we have jobs. We have. Um, you know, uh, cars, we have houses, what, what, which, like, what does that have to do with Right, right, right? That, that's good, that's mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. we go, we, I know, mm -hmm. we're getting to wrap up some. We're going to go a few more minutes. I want you to finish up with this. Yes. We want to know why the men aren't coming out with the ladies. Well, they probably are married, attached to someone, um, don't have any money, don't have a job. Barely have somewhere to live. I'm just saying, maybe that's what's going Whoa, on. Oh, we're getting a whole other different class of brothers I'm right just saying, here. I mean, why are they coming out? Because I always thought men like to go different class of brothers. I mean, so it, it, that's really deeper. We, gonna, we should, go, we we should approach come it. Back. We're going to get back to that yeah. question. Yeah, yeah we, we um, have to approach that later. Now, this is one more question. I, I, they're going to wrap mm -hmm. up. We're running over. This is Kitty Jones and DJ Gatsby, oh, our God. first time. Give us one more minute. Now, the other question is, uh, it must, women must have submitted these questions for one on one. Where are all the good men at? Now that's the question. And and my uh, is, Where is, are the good is men quick at? and simple. We can do it for less than a minute. Uh, they are probably looking right at you. Oh, they're right there, right in front of you. At this moment. Yeah, where? And you're overlooking. They're them. on the train. That's exactly right. They're at church. They're probably right there. In front